Oh my my buddy. Oh my goodness, you're the needy one today, huh? Say hello. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then my name is Katie. And if you are not new, then welcome back. In my last video that I filmed, someone quoted me in the comments and said, Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie. And if you are not new, my name's still Katie. And I just thought it was really funny because he wasn't wrong. Obviously, if you click this video, then you already know what it's about. But in today's video, I wanted to give you guys a look that was not only affordable, but it's something that'll be long lasting. It's something that you can wear on vacation, on like a hot summer day. Something that looks a little more effortless for the daytime, but then can be easily transitioned to something a little more sexy and sultry for the nighttime. So if you would like to see me create a paradise vacation makeup look, mind you, a summer vacation in 2021 because as responsible human beings we're not going on summer vacations during a pandemic now are we no we're not it's hot i need to take this off i can't do it frick these lights are so hot i don't know how people do it Speaking of not knowing how people do things, can we talk about this for a second? I can't text, I can't open things. I don't know why anyone would ever like willingly wear these. And I know that might seem weird because clearly I willingly put these on, but I wanted to look my absolute best because I am so excited to tell you guys that I am partnering with e.l.f. Cosmetics on this video. I like cannot believe that I'm partnering with e.l.f. as in eyes, lips, face, as in one of the largest, most affordable drugstore brands in the whole entire freaking world. I still don't really understand, but I'm just gonna go with it and we're just gonna get into the video. So there was a reason behind me calling this like a paradise vacation proof makeup look because I am going to be showing you pretty much the whole entire Retro Paradise collection. They sent me pretty much everything. I'm gonna be showcasing a ton of new products from their Retro Paradise collection, but not only that, I'm gonna be showing you some other products that I bought with my own dollars. Everything that I show you in this video is going to be super affordable so that everyone can achieve it. And not only that, they are vegan and cruelty free. So no testing on animals, no crappy ingredients, that's amazing. The first product that we're going to be starting off with is the e.l.f. Primer Glow Oil and this is from their new Retro Paradise collection. Let's see if I can open this with these nails because ugh, I just don't know how you guys do it. I mean this in all seriousness. People that wear fake nails, I respect you so much because it is a true, true talent to deal with these things. You guys know I have to smell everything. I don't know why. It smells good. I'm gonna be really strategic about where I put this, so I'm really only putting it on the outskirts of my face. Outskirts of my face. I'm also just gonna press this in and make sure the skin really absorbs it. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking, why on earth would you ever put an oil on your face if you're going to be in the hot sun and you're gonna be sweating? If you deprive your skin of moisture and oils, all that is going to do is make your skin produce oils. In order to combat skin from producing a ton of oil what I will do is I will heavily moisturize and I will use some type of serum or oil to make sure that my skin is like really hydrated so it doesn't feel like it's deprived and then starts becoming really really oily throughout the day and you also want to give it a few minutes to like really soak into your skin next I'm gonna be taking the elf poreless putty primer that's a mouthful I'm gonna be putting this all in my t-zone so I just scraped out like a pea size amount Ooh, I didn't mean to like flip you guys off um I I just <laughs> I scraped out a pea size amount I feel like these nails were not a good idea I'm just gonna be pressing this into my skin and really making sure that my pores are nice and filled because really see them out in that summer sun you know I'm just basically putting this where I didn't put that oil I might even put some here because I feel like even though it's kind of gross I sweat on uh, my upper lip sometimes TMI all right so a lot of the complexion products that I'm going to show you I actually went out and purchased myself because regardless of whether or not this is a partnership or not I wanted to make sure that I tested the products made sure I liked them before I suggested them to you I'm just over here you know working and twerking for you guys always and I have brought my receipts 
a little bit from CVS, a lot of it from Ulta. These products are actually so good for the price. The quality of the products for the price that you get them at is just, I don't understand how they even do it because it's really, really affordable. And mind you, Ulta, I feel like is on the higher end of the drugstore pricing, but some of this stuff, you know, $5, $6, $6, $8, $3, it's just crazy. For foundation, we are going to be mixing the Flawless Satin Foundation in the shade Linen with the e.l.f. Foundation Serum because the serum actually has an SPF of 25 and if you're going to be going out in the sun for a long time or ever actually, if you're gonna go out in the sun ever, you need to wear an SPF. I just mix the serum right in with the foundation but be mindful, the serum is like water just be careful i'm taking this on an elf sponge the thing that i really like about this foundation is i think it's just a really good everyday foundation because it's not super full coverage it's more of like a medium coverage so you can still see your actual skin which is definitely like what you want if you're going for that more like effortless vacation type vibe obviously you can still see my imperfection through the foundation but i don't really care about that we're all human we all have imperfections unless you're someone that's just like really blessed with perfect skin and then in that case please comment below what it's like to be god's favorite because i can't relate i did a self tanner today before i filmed and i feel like this color actually was a really great match to like prior to me self tanning moving right along to concealer i'm going to be using the elf 16 hour camo concealer this concealer is so good for the price i really do not understand how they make their products so affordable i i really don't this concealer is like six bucks i am not going to use a ton of concealer because i really want this to be like a very daytime appropriate look and once again blending this out with the elf sponge to set my under eye i'm going to be using the sheer tint finishing powder i'm just super lightly setting the under eye and i'm making sure to really keep it directly under the under eye because i'm going to be using some cream products potentially i'm also just going to set where makeup tends to break up on me so that's around my nose on my upper lip in between my eyebrows and on my chin for some reason lately, my eyelids and my nose have been so dry and my skin is just peeling and I can't get makeup to stick there, so that's my fault. So next, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. And the cool thing about this bronzer is that it's primer infused, so it's supposed to last for 16 hours. Keep in mind that we didn't set the whole entire face, so I don't wanna just be taking my brush and swiping it back and forth because I don't want to disrupt the foundation. But the reason why I didn't set the whole entire face is because I knew that I would be using other powder products that would do that job for me, so I wasn't using excessive of amounts of powder. This hair is truly driving me crazy. I'm about to put it up in a bun. Anyway, same with the cheeks. I'm just gently tapping this in. And since I'm going for more of the beachy vibe, I'm definitely not going to be doing any harsh contouring. I'm just bronzing. I can't do it anymore. I need to put my hair up. I can't do it anymore. It's driving me freaking crazy. At least for the face products, I just want it on my face. I'm going to be using the 16 hour primer infused elf blush in the shade Always Cheeky. And once again, I'm just tapping this into the skin and I'm gonna keep this pretty far back on my cheek. And I know this isn't for everybody so you can just completely skip this step if you want to, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of blush on the tip of this brush. I'm just gonna run this on the bridge of my nose because I just wanna go for that really like sun-kissed, almost like sunburnt makeup look. Just to save time, I'm gonna hop off camera really quickly and I'm I'm gonna do my eyes and I'm gonna contour my nose and I will be right back. For highlighter, I have the e.l.f. Multi-Dimension Face and Body Shimmer in Luna and this is another product from the Retro Paradise collection. This looks like it's gonna be bright. Oh wow, it's like gold. Huh, how the heck did I do that? Okay, literally watch this because I'm not kidding, this is gold. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm not really a glitter highlight kind of person, but glitter just catches the sun in such a pretty way and it like glistens. I keep staring at myself in the monitor because my light's catching it and it's like whoosh. I don't know what it was, but what it does i'm sorry but you all need to get this because this is so beautiful and more so than that i think that you just need to play with it because 
Because I said so. Oh my gosh. What does this smell like? You know what it smells like? Oh my gosh. I I know what it smells like. You know Victoria's Secret Love Spell? That's what this smells like. I used to be obsessed with that smell. I mean, I feel like every high school girl was obsessed with that smell, but my cheeks smell like Love Spell. I feel like I've said enough about this highlighter. Just wow. Just really wow. Okay, I feel like I can take my hair out now because my face is done and I don't want it to crease. I feel like it did crease. Sweet. I'm going to be hopping into the e.l.f. Retro Paradise eyeshadow palette. And let me tell you something. This eyeshadow palette is so pretty. Probably be a little helpful if I opened it. Oh, no. Peeled it open. I can't. Huh. Oh, my God. I'm just going to prime my eyes with a little bit of this concealer. I just want basically to cancel out my veins in my eyelids. I feel like this palette especially can be super versatile. You have like all these really neutral shades that would be great for the daytime, but then you can easily add like a little bit of drama and a pop of color. And I just, I just feel like it's a great palette. I'm gonna be taking the shade Fuego. This is just a really pretty matte peachy shade. And I feel like this is gonna be good because it's gonna look really nice with that goldy highlight. And it's also going to tie in nicely with the blush as well. And then just to give like a little, little teeny tiny bit more definition in the crease I'm going to dip Fuego and just like a tiny bit of Sandy Bum. It's a cute name. And I'm focusing this really just in the crease and I'm not bringing this up very much at all. And I don't know if you could see the difference between like this eye and this eye but it's just like the littlest teeniest bit of something extra. So next I'm going to hop into the e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in Flirty Birdie and this is once again part of the Retro Paradise collection and I'm just going to run this across my whole entire eyelid. Honestly this applicator is pretty nice. I could probably just get away with using this. I thought I was gonna have to use a brush but pretty nice applicator. Wow this is so pretty. I'm just picturing being outside in the sun you know not on quarantine not in the middle of a national pandemic laying on the beach a nice frozen pina colada in my hand with a little umbrella the sun hitting my eye and my cheek and everyone looking at me wondering what the hell this like magical thing is and what this really pretty eyeshadow is all the high school girls flocking to me and telling me that my cheek smells like love spell i can really picture it i'm going to add a little bit of this highlighter on the center of the eye just to kind of tie everything together i'm going to attempt to put this on my eyelid with my claws Wow. Mother. I'm done. I'm actually done. I'm going to hop into the shade coconut and I'm just going to take this on a little pencil brush and I'm going to just put this super super close on my lash line just to make the lashes appear a little bit thicker. I'm also just going to take whatever's left on that brush and bring it below on the lower lash line just on the outer corner and I'm going to leave the inner corner nice and bright. Jesus Christmas that hurts so bad. And then lastly, I'm just gonna take a little bit more Fuego and a little bit more of Sandy Bum on a bigger pencil brush. And I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. And then lastly, lastly, I'm just going to take a little bit more of this highlighter and I'm going to put this in the inner corner of my eye. And also a little bit on my brow bone, just like the teeniest, teeniest bit. And to finish off the daytime paradise vacation makeup look, I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on mascara and I will be right back. So this is the finished eye look and I don't know about you, but I'm not wearing lashes to the beach. So we're not going there. But to finish off the daytime look, I'm going to go into the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Line and Shine Lip Kit. And I'm going to probably go into this one right here. 
So the kit comes with like a more pinky nude, a more brownie nude, a true brown, and then like a bright pink, and this really pretty gloss. I'm just gonna line my lips with this. This is actually like potentially my new favorite lip liner ever. I've been looking for a really affordable, perfect nude lip liner from the drugstore for so long. I've even used eyebrow pencils from the drugstore for lip liners because I can never just find like a nice neutral brown lip liner. And I feel like this is my new favorite. And last but not least for the daytime makeup look, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip gloss in a moment. Okay, this whole collection smells like love spell. Even though I do think that this lip gloss is really pretty, I just feel like I have so much glitter going on. I'm just gonna go back in with that lip liner and kind of just fill in my lips because I feel like mixing the two. Yeah, kind of just tones it down. So this is the finished daytime paradise vacation makeup look. And I know it might still be like a little extra for some people, but I think it's awesome that you can get like an extra makeup look like this without paying extra dollar bills to do so. But I want to show you guys how you can turn something like this into a more like sexy and sultry nighttime makeup look. You don't have to just like wipe everything off and start from scratch. You could just do a couple little things and it can look like a whole new makeup look. I'm just going to hop into Sandy Bum and then a little bit of coconut. And I'm gonna focus this on the outer corner of my eye. I'm also just going to take this and whatever is left on the brush, I'm just gonna bring it under the lower lash line and connect the lower lash line with the outer V like that and then going back in with a little bit more of a fluffier brush I'm just gonna make sure that there are no harsh lines so I am going to add let me see I think I'm gonna add sip sip into the inner corner of my eye I'm just gonna dip into sip sip and I'm going to spray my brush with the elf dewy setting mist and then I'm going to pop this into the inner corner of my eye. Oh, this color is so pretty. So that is it as far as the eyeshadow goes. But if you are trying to be like extra, extra on vacation, then you can always just pop on your favorite and most coveted pair of dramatic lashes. But we are not done yet. I may have just saved the best for last. I'm not sure yet, but I think that I did. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop face and eye gloss in creamsicle pop and I'm not gonna lie out of everything that I received I was the most excited about this since obviously we don't have the Sun at night I felt like it would be super fun to add like a little bit of a gloss right there let's try this out You know, one thing I will say about this whole full face of e.l.f. journey is that they really do package their stuff quite well, if I do say so myself. Oh wow, this looks beautiful. I'm just gonna put this on like the very, 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 very top of my cheekbone. I don't wanna disturb what's underneath. I'm just being like very careful. Do you see that? This is such an exciting video for me. All this stuff is so cool. I feel like I'm like in science class or something and I get to like experiment with all this new stuff. Look how cool that is. Why am I so fascinated with everything? Does this smell? No, this doesn't smell. It's okay. All right, you guys, this is the finished nighttime paradise vacation makeup look. And I promise you that is the last time I'm going to say that. If you would like to try out any of the products that you saw me use today, then I'm actually going to put all the products in the description box below and I'm going to link them for you so that you find them easily. But before I go, I wanted to once again, give the biggest thank you in the whole entire world to e.l.f. for sponsoring today's video. I seriously still cannot believe that they even knew who I was let alone wanted to partner with me on a video. So I just really, 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 really thank you. And more so than that, I seriously want to thank you guys so much for just your endless support and love because I'm literally nothing without you guys. I would not have any of these opportunities without you guys. And I never 
for one minute want you to think that I'm not eternally grateful because I truly am. I really, really want you guys to know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. And yeah, I was so excited to film this video. I wanted to tell you guys in my last video, but I wanted it to be like a surprise, but I still cannot believe that I partnered with a makeup company. Like it's, I don't know. It's just pretty unreal. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video because it seriously means the world to me and if you did like this video then please give this video a thumbs up because it really does help me with the algorithm and it shows YouTube that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out but yeah I know I already said it a million times but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you in the next one bye